to drop our times even further, Dodge is going to drop another legend on the world here tonight. Literally, not at an auto show, not on TV, not on social. We're going to drop another legend right here on this drag strip where legends like this are made. All right, guys, check it out. I got a lot of messages asking me my opinion on the Demon 170. People want to know from the guy that races a Dodge Demon, as some people consider the Demon King, what do I think about this car? Also, I've had the opportunity to hear about this car as it was being built and got to kind of see behind the curtains of some things that was to come. Uh, obviously, I couldn't talk about the things that I may have heard or the things I may have seen. I was so glad that Dodge invited me and my wife out to actually be a part of this event, which was amazing. Herman from Demonology What's and up? Western What's Chaplin. Up? The Soul Snatch is in the house. <laughs> God dang, you are hyping up the audience now, aren't you? Oh my <laughs> God. You guys are making me look bad out here, but it's an exciting day, right? Of course it's an exciting day. There's a really, really nice car, and I, I'm excited to see it. I don't know where it's at. I think it might be underneath the cover over there. I don't know yet, but. Well, you know, Dodge is the best brand out there on the market. Here you go, baby. We got them all scared. And what's coming out today is going to seal it for the world. Dodge is literally the craziest Dodge company, the craziest car company out there in the world. And the thing is, is Hellcats and Dodge have become such an icon. It's such a dream for so many people to buy, including myself. And finally, when I first got one, I think I sat in that car and just stared at it for two, three straight days. My favorite last call is going to be the fastest one. I want, I want the last one. I want it so freaking bad. I'll probably end up doing some stupid hey, stuff hey, with hey, it. But, hey, 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 hey. You know, hey. hey. <laughs> Turbos, nitrous, you know. Hey, 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 hey. hey, there you go. Black Ghost, love the Black Ghost. But the last one is, hey, you know, fastest is better. This was just a completely amazing event. Guys, I have always said this from the start and I continue to say it. The other car companies will not build you a fast car. Chevy is out of the fast car business. Ford is out of the fast car business. Don't get me wrong. They make a good platform and you can add to that car and their internals are really strong. But if you want a company to build you a fast car, then you got to go to Dodge. I was so impressed with what Dodge did and I was hoping that when the 2015 Hellcat came out, that Ford and Chevy would jump in the game and start the muscle car wars. I grew up in that era. Unfortunately, they did not take that challenge, but Dodge kept moving forward. To me, it was embarrassing to see that an all electric company decided to come out and take the challenge and beat the Demon with the Model Plaid. I'm telling you now that Model Plaid will not beat the Demon 170. And don't forget, Dodge is the king of muscle and we have the Banshee that is going to be coming out soon. But let's not talk about that. Let's talk about this car and my thoughts on this car and what this car is about. I had the opportunity to receive one of the limited editions of the Dodge Demons, and I decided that I was going to take it out and drag race it and run it against every car that I can run it against to see what it would do. I quickly learned that this car was very fast and it lived up to all the expectations. I know the horsepower numbers of this new car and it's similar to what my car was when it was running 8.9 and I was doing it in not the best DA in the world. What Dodge did was they listened. First failure on the car for me was the drive shaft. I made so many passes on my Demon that the bushing in the drive shaft literally worn out. It was kind of disappointing to me that they wouldn't cover it on warranty. They looked at the tires I had on the car at the time and the guy denied the warranty because he said the vehicle actually came with 28 tall tires. Needless to say, that started me to modding the car. The next thing that failed was the differential. The differential could not take the launching of the car using the trans brake that Dodge had set up. Going in the torque reserve, using the trans brake, that car launched so hard that if you are on a really sticky track, you're gonna break your differential. Dodge addressed that problem. The other thing that Dodge looked at was, what are these other racers doing to get more power out of their cars? You gotta realize that the Demon, when it was first set up, you could add unleaded race fuel to the Demon. Well, unleaded race fuel is expensive. At that time, the fuel that was not expensive, that was equivalent to the unleaded race fuel, 
was good old E85. E85 was a game changer when it came to demon owners that wanted to take their cars and wick them up to the next level. Before E85, I would do pump gas added with Boostane Professional to get my octane level. A big shout out to Boostane Performance. They now have a E85 race fuel, and I'm gonna try that for the first time. But that's what Dodge took from the racers out on the street. The next thing that Dodge looked at with this was improving the supercharger. The lower pulley, I made 10%. The upper pulley, I went to a 3.0, and eventually I went to a 285 upper. The throttle body, I also changed to make a bigger throttle body on the car which I put a Dodge did one better with this one. The Demon Supercharger was 2.7 liter. They used a 3.0 liter supercharger, which is gonna push more air and went to the 105 throttle body. So they're taking what we learned from drag racing, the original Demon. Demon could go up to 18 pounds of boost and it was solid. Anything past 18 pounds of boost, you started having problems. Dodge fixed that with a bigger supercharger and now is able to get that car up somewhere around 22 pounds of boost. When you're running E85, you have to run more fuel in the car. The horsepower level is demanded, and generally we all had to go to aftermarket fuel rails and bigger fuel injectors. This is something that Dodge did right off the bat. Now the drive line, they had to definitely make that stronger. I talked about the drive shaft, I talked about the differential, but they went with a 240 millimeter ring gear and a stronger differential housing. Drag tires is interesting here, guys. So Dodge went with a combination from Mickey Thompson. Guys, I love Mickey Thompson. It was my very first sponsor I ever had. And Mickey Thompson had built a set of tires back in the day that were 315, 50, 17. And those tires were amazing. And that's the set of tires that I ran on my Demon. Eventually, I went all the way down to a 15 inch conversion in the rear, which would let me run any combination I wanted in the rear. I run a 17 inch wheel in the front. Dodge, on the other hand, did something similar. The next thing is the trans brake guys. Uh, eventually, after breaking drive shafts and breaking differentials and breaking axles, I learned from my good friend, Rod Hetzel, who is the foot braking king, as far as I'm concerned. And he taught me that when you foot brake a car, it loads the drivetrain and it's less likely chance of breaking parts when you come out of the hole because the drivetrain is already tight, loaded and ready to go. Dodge on the other hand, fixed that issue with this new drivetrain. This new trans brake, the 2.0, is gonna put you in the torque reserve quicker and it's gonna give you more boost off the line. Races are won at the starting line, not at the finish line. Don't get me wrong, the Demon suspension is a beast. I loved everything about the Demon suspension, but the more I got into racing, the more I realized that all tracks are not the same and I would have to make an adjustment on my suspension. The other thing that's done new with this vehicle that a lot of people don't know about, drag racers have something that they use in transmissions that's called a dump valve. The dump valve fills the torque converter and allows the torque converter to slip, which allows you to get out of the hole when you're on a track that's not super sticky. This is something that I have on my Rosler Turbo 400 transmission. This is one thing that this car has on it also. One of the other things that Dodge did with this vehicle is something that we learned from drag racing. When I say we, the whole Demon Hellcat community that drag races, is you have to beef up your valve train, you have to clamp down your cylinder heads, and they've done that with this car. They've beefed up the valve train and they allowed the cylinder heads to take 38% more clamping load because that E85 and that 22 pounds of boost is gonna push this car for everything that it has and you're gonna need that to keep it together. Now, when I first started racing my Demon, one of the tricks that I got from Rod Hetzel was free up horsepower that I already have. And that was going with lightweight wheels and tires. Dodge completely killed it with this set of carbon fiber wheels and the Mickey Thompson tires. So the thing that made the Demon so much better than the Hellcats was that the Demon had a inner chiller system and i really love the inner chiller system that system will allow you 
to turn it on and bring down the intake temperatures on the demon by directing the air conditioning unit into the supercharger. So what we did in the aftermarket world or the drag racing world, if you wanted something better than the Dodge Demon chiller, then you had to go with forced induction. If you want a fast car built from the company, you gotta go to Dodge. This new car, the Demon 170, you're not gonna have to change any parts. It will do what it's supposed to do, and it will do it great. And you know, this is the, you know, we all talk about the 60s, like that was the golden age of the muscle car, but they didn't stop or go around corners. You know, now you've got cars that handle, uh, they go fast, they get good gas mileage. This is really the golden age. I mean, you're seeing cars like the Hellcat, 707 horsepower, 800 horsepower. I mean, those were numbers that people could only dream of years ago, and especially in a car that's going to pass emissions and, and meet the, all the standards, you know? This is the best, the fastest, the most awesome drag car that you can drive to the drag strip and drive back home. I'm Demonology. You know what we're doing. Snatching soul. Peace. Hey guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and also click the bell. Check out the videos up at the top. And if you get a chance, check out our merch store. Peace.